Very good. I want to say thank you to his father for always being on me, talking to me about issues that need to be talked about. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, Jordan Torres. Yeah! Jordan Torres really turned it on at the end of the season. He, he dropped a few, uh, few pounds to wrestle at 124 pounds, and he did awesome for us, and I can't wait to have you back next year. When, uh, you placed fourth, correct? Third. Nice job. Third. Tristan Todd. Trace Morris. He's definitely another sharper of one of our teams in the, in the wrestling room. He goes in there working hard and always battling it out in the wrestling room. Cody Laxon. Nice job. Always one, always coach, 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 coach. coach. Well, yes. The, the things that they, they come up with, it's awesome. Seth Kinsey. Come on down. Go, Seth. A sixth grader. He wrestled awesome all the way through the year. All the way through the year. Another one that he needs to get his mind right before he goes out of that match and know that it's going to be a tough match and you're not just going to blow through everybody. You need to stay in there and focus. Humphreys, Jeremy Humphreys. Another one that goes in there to wrestle practice and really works hard. Trevor Harrell. Harrell. Chase Hendy. One of our many hard workers in the rest of the room, always doing what is asked of him. Thank you. Michael Hickey. Definitely an inspiration. My, Michael Hickey has a lot more, a lot more talent than. Uh, he has a lot of talent, he knows a lot of moves, he goes out there and wrestles. He does things that I, I have never showed in my wrestling room, but he goes out there and, and, and executes them very well. Just keep wrestling, Hickey. Cole Griffin. Yeah, cool. He definitely works hard in the wrestling room, definitely a pleasure to have in class. Or in the, in the wrestling room, not class. And in class, says Coach Burns. Thank you. Ammon Ammon. Ammon Garrison. That's how he likes me to remember the name. Ammon Ammon. Ammon is a district champion. In the finals, he wrestled. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong. You, were, you beat two kids that you lost to during the season at the district? Just one? Okay. In the district championship, he, he was able to beat a kid that he lost to earlier in the year. And it was just. He was undefeated three years in the road, and he's an eighth grader, the kid that he wrestled. And our sixth grader, Ammon Garrison, beat him. Yeah, and Mr. Riley Frazier. Okay, this weight class right here was definitely one of the toughest weight classes we had. We had three very solid wrestlers in that weight class. We had Joe Meyer, we had Tristan Youngdale, we had Riley Frazier. And those those three always battled it out really well. And I can't wait to have you back next year. Jake Christensen. He's not here. Hunter Christopherson. I think that's the first time we've got his last name right. Definitely a pleasure to have in the wrestling room. Can't wait to have you back. Nice job. Jaden Burkett. No, Alex B. I always get his last name wrong. And Nathan Bacon. Bacon! Nathan, that, his weight class was another very tough weight class. We had, let's see, we had uh, G Garris, uh, Kinsey, Ryan Taylor, and Bacon. Those three would always battle out. And at the beginning of the season, every time they would challenge, it was a one-point match. One-point match. It'd either go Bacon's way or Taylor's way. Bacon's way or Taylor's way. One by one point. And they definitely sharpened each other's tools. I appreciate everything, man.
Right here. And the queen of the mat, Jade Abbott. I love watching her wrestle. She she could she moved on that wrestling mat like a wrestler should. I hope you come out next year. Drop volleyball. Come out next year. <laughs> okay. Can we give a hand to all these athletes right here? I hope there isn't anyone out there that didn't get a certificate. Let me see. Okay. okay. Go ahead, have a seat. Okay. He started out with over 82 kids. And it dwindled down to what we have now. Uh, biggest turnout we've ever had at Frontier, period. Hi. Greatest Hi. season I consider, most points we've ever scored, and the most we've ever had in the finals in our 14 years uh, coaching uh, wrestling up here at Frontier. So that's hats off to the program. Please, next year, sign up and get a friend out. I would like to see 100 kids sign up. For, that's our goal. 100 kids sign up next year for wrestling. Okay, uh, I kind of wrote, wrote down something earlier today, and uh, I hope I don't stutter too much while I read this. Okay, as I said in the beginning, wrestling is not for everyone. It's a tough and demanding sport. That is, that is why year after year, some athletes come out only for a few days and never return to the wrestling room. It takes a, dirt, a different type of person to be a wrestler. Wrestlers put themselves through stress that others won't even think about putting themselves through. Wrestling teaches us self-control, responsibility, dedication, work ethic, and it builds better character. Wrestling will show us how we respond in the face of adversity. It teaches us how to win and lose with our head held high. Wrestling doesn't have timeouts, substitutions, or a fourth quarter. Wrestling is a right now kind of a sport. From even before the whistle blows, wrestlers are battling with their weight or with the fatigue from cutting weight. Then the real battle starts when we step out on that mat and face our opponent. The moment, the moment of truth begins. We push our bodies into exhaustion to the point where we feel we can't go anymore. We still push and battle. We battle our minds to not give up, to not quit. And once that fatigue and exhaustion settles in, we still go out and compete and push harder because that is who we are. We are wrestlers. There isn't a lot of glory or notoriety in wrestling, but the true prize of wrestling is when we look back on all the hard work, the blood, the sweat, the tears that come from the everyday life of training to be a better person and to be a better wrestler. Once we have experienced a season of wrestling, it will affect our lives forever and for the better. It will show us how to achieve something that we want. It will show us that with smart and hard work, we can achieve whatever we want. I want to say thank you to all the wrestlers and all you parents for allowing me to coach your children. Thank you.